Hello, good afternoon, student. Okay, anybody here? Okay, to my physics class, the fine science two student. Are you here? Can you listen me? Okay, you can reply in the chat room. Okay, we got 11 is watching now. Who is that? Okay, can you say hi here? Okay, Yenru, you can listen me or not? Okay, thank you, huh? Okay, so Jessica, Yenru, Yiru, then Alicia is here already. Okay, hi, good afternoon, huh? Okay, so today we're going to continue to 2.2. Chapter 2, there's an atmospheric pressure. Okay, before that, we learned about the liquid pressure. Now, we continue to the atmospheric pressure. So, this one is atmospheric pressure that we're acting to anyway. Okay, we learned 2.1 means we ignore the atmospheric. But 2.2, everything we need to calculate the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so from here, we start the go through our lesson. Okay, first one, you see this one diagram. Uh, this one, they're using the atmospheric pressure. Finally, they can leave out, okay, the glass, a piece of the glass they can take out. Okay, so from here, they explain for you. A glass of sheet, they leave using a large rubber shaker. Okay, we've got so many rubber shaker here. Okay, after that, the rubber shaker will uh, press, compress to the glass. After that, they're using the atmospheric pressure to press, Okay, press to the grass. Then after that, they're together to leave up, <clears throat> leave up a piece of the big glass. Okay, so from here, they say, how is the atmospheric pressure? They're applying the use of the rubber shaker. So from here, this was just an introduction to you all uh, about what is the atmospheric pressure. Although we cannot see, but we can feel it. They got atmospheric pressure surrounding with us. Okay, now we go through. Okay, first one, let's see the definition for atmospheric pressure. Okay, atmospheric pressure means, uh, this one, the pressure that due to the weight okay, of the layer of the A acting on the surface of the earth. That means that's a come from the earth. Lah. The weight from the, because the A also got weight, is it? They got weight surrounding the earth, we got layer of the A. So this one, layer of the A, they got weight. So this one, we call it, the atmospheric pressure that acting on the surface of the earth. So from here, we continue to explain. The earth surrounded by the thick layer, okay, of the air consisting of the various of the type of the gases. Okay, here got so many air, okay, different type of the gases. Okay, after that, this layer of the air has weight, okay, every gases. I don't care you are. Uh, helium or you are hydrogen, you also got a get, uh, got a weight. So this one A has a weight and also exert a pressure on the surface of the earth. So that means when you got weight, you sure will exert the pressure on the surface of something. Okay. So from here, they are acting on the surface of the earth as well as all the object on it. So every object in the earth, you also you got uh, exert the pressure from your body or any object. So this one pressure, we got it as a atmospheric pressure. Okay, caused by the A layer of the earth. So that's why everybody also got atmospheric pressure. Okay, so therefore, all the objects on the surface of the earth, they will experience the atmospheric pressure. So from here, just introduce for you, atmospheric pressure actually comes from where? Okay, come from the A layer of the earth. So because of the weight. Okay, every A also got the weight. So the weight is acting to the earth. So that means they got pressure. Okay, so from here we go through. Okay, let's see some activity. They show about the assistance of the atmospheric pressure. So I told you already, we cannot see, we cannot feel. Uh, sorry, we cannot touch about atmospheric pressure. But we can see some situation. They got atmospheric pressure appear. Okay, but we not realize. So from here, we show some uh, simple activity you also can try in your house. Okay, example this one. You can take a glass, then you fill with the water until full. 
Okay, after that, you put like a cardboard, okay, at the top of the glass. Okay, don't let the air bubble go in. Then after that, you faster and go to invert. Okay, inverted. Then you find it, the cardboard still stay, stay uh, at the surface of the glass. They never fall down. That means the cardboard now, they can support the weight of the water. Why? Because we got atmospheric pressure. Okay, you can go back and try today. So from here, we go and see the observation. Okay, the observation is the cardboard does not fall down. Okay, and the water, they still remain in the glass even though there's a not supported by anything. Okay, we're never using the hand to support. Okay, just a cardboard only. So from here, we need to explain why the situation like this. Okay, the resultant force caused by the atmospheric pressure. Okay, atmospheric pressure, they produce a resultant force act on the surface of the cardboard. Okay, after that, there's a greater than the weight of the water in the glass. So that means the force that produced by the atmospheric pressure, there's a bigger than the weight of the water. So that's why finally the water still inside the glass never fall down because they got one of the resultant force acting to the uh, weight of the uh, water. Okay, so this one is the sum of the observation and also explanation. Okay, so from here we got so some of the video, the short video about this activity. You can see here. Okay. Uh, okay, you can see now I put a card, cardboard okay, on the top of the glass with water. Then we go to inverted. Okay, so you find it. They're still holding. Okay, the cardboard never fall down. After that, they're still holding the water. So that means the water in the glass still cannot to come down because it's got resultant force. Resultant force acting to the cardboard. Then that means they can support the weight of the water. So from this one, there's a simple activity you can try by yourself. Then the assisting of the atmospheric pressure, there's a surrounding with us. So you cannot see, but you can find it. This one citation got. Okay, then we go and see another activity. Got, also got assisting of the atmospheric pressure. This one, you see the diagram. First one, they got one of the tin. A few with the water. After that, they go to heat it. Okay, heat until high temperature. After that, you close it. Okay, you close the tin. Okay, now you're using the cool water, go and pour to the tin. So you find it, the tin, the shape will be run. Okay, deform. Why? Because they got atmospheric pressure, now it's bigger. Okay, actually atmospheric pressure is a constant. Okay, now I go to heat, actually I force all the gas to come out. When I force all the gas to come out, means inside become low pressure. Okay, when this one low pressure, understood atmospheric pressure, now it's bigger, look. So that's why the atmospheric pressure, they will compress. Okay, bigger pressure compress the lower pressure. Finally, you find the tin become deformed. Okay, now we see the observation. When the can they fill with the hot water is closed and it's cooled down rapidly by pulling the cool water on it, it will crash instantly. Okay, explanation. Okay, this is an example for diagram, lah, the hot water. Then you close it. That means you prevent the hot gas to come out. Then you're using the cool water, go and pour it. So you find it the atmospheric pressure that can press. So from here, the explanation is when the air inside the cane is cool, its pressure decreases. Okay, inside become decreases. So the high atmospheric pressure outside exert a greater force on the can and cause it become crashes. So you must talking about inside when you just uh, hot it, make it hot, the gas to come up become low pressure. After that, understood atmospheric pressure now is bigger. Then after that, they will compress. Okay, compress the uh, the can because of the forces. So finally, they become crashes. Okay, we got some of the video also explain this one situation. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Let's see the, oh, sorry, I'm going to return back. Okay, I'm going to play. Okay, now they pour the hot water in the plastic bottle. Okay, fine, you can see hot water because they got wrapper. Huh? Okay, so now they close it. Close it, that means don't, cannot come already, the hot gas. Then inside, become low pressure. 
Then they're using the cool water go and pull. Uh, you see what happened for the shape. Uh, the shape become deformed. Okay, they change the shape already. Okay, so this one is a situation atmospheric pressure hazard. Now we go to explanation. Okay, let's see the first explanation. Okay, why the shape become like this? Huh? So the first one we go to explain. When the boiling hot water was poured into the bottle, the steam will push some of the A out. Okay, they force the A to come out. Okay, you can see they force the A to come out. Okay, number two, at the same time, the A above the water surface was heated. Okay, and also they expand. After heat, they will expand. Okay, then we continue. This also push some of the A out. Okay, when it expand, inside all the A, they force to out. And amount of the A inside the bottle reduce. Okay, when the A inside the bottle reduce, that means become low pressure. Okay, then we continue. So then when we kept it, we close it, like close the bottle, then the A could not be entered back again. So the A cannot go in, already forced out. Okay, now we see what happened. Okay, again, uh, uh, sorry. So I go to force again. Uh. Okay, I'm going to see the explanation again. Okay, this one pour in. Then we continue. Okay, close it, is it? Okay. So they call finally. So you say finally when they pour. Pour the cool water. Uh. Finally, when we pour about the cool water over the bottle, the steam condense to the water and the air cool and also contract. Okay, they cool down suddenly hot, then suddenly cool. Then they contract. Okay, so we see the finally what they explain. Okay, this lead to be lower of the air pressure inside the bottle. So as the air pressure inside the bottle fell significantly below the pressure exerted by the air on the outside of the wall crashed in. So they may understood inside they create low pressure. How to create low pressure? They put the hot air go in. When they put the hot water go in, that means they force all the air to come out. Then after that, inside all is a hot water. And also the air forced to come out and cannot come in already because you close. So finally, the outside you put the pool, uh, the cool water go and pour together with the bottle. So you find it the contract. Okay, and also inside become low pressure. Automatic outside the atmospheric pressure should be higher. After that, they compress, okay? Compress the bottle. So finally, you see the bottle, they change about the shape. Okay, important, you need to create one part become low pressure. After that, you can see what happened for the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so this one is uh, another uh, video I want to show. Okay, like this. Okay, this one is one of the video about heating. After they go to cool down. You see what happened, ah? Okay, they go to heat the big tin. Okay. Then they're using the fire Bunsen burner at the bottom. They go to heat. Okay, more Bunsen burner. Okay, after that, they might lose it. Okay, you might make the, the cover become close it. We are just same like just now lah. We close the cover. Don't let the air to come out. Okay. After that, they go to cool down. They pour the water. Okay. We see what happened for the king. Okay. Take some time. Okay. You can see. Okay. They change the shape already. Although this one is a metal, they also can be changed. The shape okay, so this one they got atmospheric pressure to compress, okay, compress the cane. Finally, the shape become deformed, okay. So, this one is a one of the example got a uh, assistant for the atmospheric pressure, okay. So, we're going to see another assistant of the atmospheric pressure. This one also every time you happen for your daily life, but you're not realize that what is the atmospheric pressure, okay. When you drink, drink the liquid by using the straw. Okay, so from here, let's see the explanation. 
Okay, the explanation is when we just suck through a straw, then the air pressure in the straw is lower. So that means when you just suck air removed from the straw, so now the straw inside is a low pressure. So understood, outside atmospheric pressure is a bigger compared to the inside the straw. So automatic, the pressure will press. Okay, press the liquid go in the straw. So from here, the pressure of the atmospheric pressure, they're acting on the surface of the drink. In the glass, pushes the juice up to the straw and into your mouth. So that means you need to create by yourself first. Okay, atmospheric pressure cannot suddenly happen once. Okay, you must create one part become low pressure. So automatic and moderate pressure, they will move from high to low. So after that, they compress, the water go in the straw. So you can drink it. Okay, now we're going to see the apparatus to measure atmospheric pressure. Eh? So from here, we can show about one of the, uh, the glass tube. There's a long glass tube. They fill with the mercury. Then they got one of the lid, they close it. Okay, so from here, the value of the atmospheric pressure that can be measured by using mercury barometer. Okay, remember the name, uh, atmospheric pressure, we need to measure by using mercury barometer. Okay, a mercury barometer, they consist one meter long. Okay, the gas tube is a one meter long. Okay, they contain it with the mercury. Okay, mercury barometer must use mercury lah. Okay, when starting, the glass tube fill with the mercury and it's a uh, covered by the lid. Okay, use the lid to cover the mercury first. Then second round, okay, they go to inverted. Can you see the whole tube that inverted put inside the bowl with mercury also? So from here, they explain for you. The glass tube is then inverted. After that, the cover end is emerged into the bowl of mercury. Okay, so important the lid. Uh, better starting with close up uh, because we let we scared about the mercury will flow out. Is it? So that means they put inside together with the bowl of mercury. Ah, uh, last they baru take out the lid. Okay, now the explanation. Okay, the explanation now. When I just remove the lid. Okay, when the lid just removed, you find it the mercury corum. <clears throat> when starting, it's a full, is it? Now, the mercury corum in the glass tube, they will fall. Okay, they will fall something out until certain height, then they stop. Okay, this one is the automatic one. Okay, why they will flow out some of the mercury? Okay, later we explain for you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. The atmospheric pressure acting on the surface. When it just inverted, you find this one is a mercury, is it? So they got atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the mercury. Okay, now uh, the mercury in the bowl support the mercury column. Okay, this all is a mercury. Then up, we got atmospheric pressure. This one, atmospheric pressure, actually they support. Support the mercury in the tube. Okay, prevent the tube to come out all. Okay, they come out a little bit only. Then create this one, become vacuum. Then after that, the question will ask, why the mercury never drop until zero? So your answer should be, uh, the mercury in the column, there's a support by atmospheric pressure. So that's why they do not drop until zero. Okay, they just drop a little bit. Okay, until certain level, they stop. Okay, that certain level actually is how many? That's a 760 millimeter. Okay, they're not simply going to drop. Until this certain level, then stop already. So from here, the atmospheric pressure, they're acting on the surface of the mercury in the bowl. They supported the mercury curum. The height of the mercury curum, this depends on the magnitude of the atmospheric pressure. If atmospheric pressure becomes strong, that means they can support more, is it? When they support more, this one height will be increasing. Okay, maybe 77. Okay, because your atmospheric pressure becomes strong. If your atmospheric pressure become, uh, become weak, okay, become weak, that means you cannot support more. So that means your H will drop. Okay, just like this. Lah. So that means this one height is depends on the atmospheric pressure. Okay, then we continue for this one. The value of the atmospheric pressure is 
stated in the term of the height of the mercury column. If you want to find the atmospheric pressure is how many, you need to find the, the height of the glass tube, uh, the glass tube column. Okay, so from here, this one, uh, mercury barometer that can use to measure the atmospheric pressure. How to measure? You go and measure the height, okay? The H for the mercury inside the coolant, okay? Make sure inside is vacuum. If inside got gas, we cannot measure this one. It's a atmospheric pressure because now you've got two pressure acting on the tube. One is a gas, another one is a mercury. So from here, from the situation when there's a vacuum, then it's okay. We can straightforward measure the H. This one is stand for atmospheric pressure. So if the height of the mercury column is a H 760 mm, so the atmospheric pressure is a 760 millimeter. Hg stands for mercury. Okay, because we're using mercury. So this one H stand for atmospheric pressure. Okay, if you bring the whole thing go to the mountain, mountain become low atmospheric pressure. So this one H will drop. So this one H will drop because of the atmospheric. So that means this one H will drop how many? So the atmospheric pressure also drop how many? Okay, remember when you just want to find atmospheric pressure, make sure this one is vacuum. Then you can straightforward to read. Okay, eh? so we continue to the next round. Okay, so from here, the conclusion, atmospheric pressure is a 760 millimeter Hg mercury. <clears throat> okay, you can using 760 mm, you also can using 76, but there's a cm Hg. Okay, this one is another unit for the pressure. Okay, when we're using mercury. You also can using Pascal, but you need to convert. Okay, you need to convert. Later, we see how to convert using Pascal. Okay, now you need to answer my question. Okay, prepare. You need to type. Okay, everybody ready to type my answer? Okay, first one, let's see the diagram. We separate by every part. This one is a mercury barometer. Okay, now, first one, uh, why is the mercury level does not drop further okay they drop until here they stop ready but well, they cannot continue continue drop until finish so anybody can answer me okay they drop until certain level then they stop ready okay just now i explained already why they never drop until until the end okay anybody here can type to show me Hello, anybody here? Can answer or not? Do not. Okay, why the inverted mercury in the coulomb, they stop until certain level. They never continue to drop until finish. Okay, nobody going to answer. So from here, I recall back because they support by what? Okay, they support by the Okay, the guy is not here today. Nobody answer. Okay, Jaya not here. Okay, the McLeakerum actually they support by the okay, we can show eh. Huh? Okay, atmospheric pressure. Yeah, Ling Han said the mercury level depends on the magnitude of the atmospheric pressure. So you can say about atmospheric pressure. Important is the atmospheric pressure that support the mercury. Okay, they not just depends. The important is atmospheric pressure that push it. Okay, they push, don't let the mercury to drop again. So how many they can push? So depends on, depends on the atmospheric pressure. Okay, important you say support first. After that, you must say depends on the magnitude of the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so Ling Han, the answer is half correct. Okay, now we go to the following. Uh, the following should be easy. Uh. The others, please answer. Uh. Okay, can you name the pressure act on the PD? Uh, PD, where's the PD? PD is here. Uh, this one is what pressure? 
Okay, anybody can answer this one? PD. Okay, just a simple question. Then the following, the student, you continue go to PE lah. Because the following are question I show you already. Some is ready for 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, you can straightforward to answer me. Okay, Sabrina Tang, they say atmospheric pressure. Yeah, correct. Okay, PD is a atmospheric pressure. Okay, atmospheric pressure. Okay, how about a PE? PE, what is that? Yeah, Sharon, correct, uh, atmospheric. Okay, then you go PE already. Okay, PE, what is that? What pressure? Okay, try. Try to answer PE, what is that? So you just look above. Look above, PE actually is what? So that is a what pressure? So anybody can answer it? Okay, and most ready finish. Then we go to number three already. Okay, P is a liquid pressure. Okay, Lingha, what liquid now? What liquid? Okay, I just want the name only. Okay, the name of the liquid is what? Okay, Ling Han, change the liquid name. Okay, anybody can try. Water. Um, this one name, barometer. What's uh, we never using water inside the tube, is it? Mercury barometer. Ah, yeah, correct. Mercury pressure. Okay, you wrote the answer me, mercury pressure. Yeah, correct. So you must mention the liquid inside the tube actually is what? So we just answer. Okay, so everybody can answer already. Eh? Okay, now we go number four. Lah. Okay, what is the pressure at the PA? PA. Okay, PA is how many pressure? Then you need to explain why you mentioned that pressure. Okay, anybody can answer PA is how many pressure? Okay, just a simple only PA. PA pressure is how many? Then you need to give me... Ah, uh, yeah. Jia Yao give me is a vacuum. Vacuum is the explanation. You need to tell me the pressure is how many. No pressure, yeah, correct. No pressure means zero, lah, zero pascal, is it? Okay, then the reason is vacuum. Okay, the reason is vacuum. So from here, we go to answer zero pascal. That's a no pressure. The reason why you say zero, because inside is a vacuum. Okay, now we compare PD and PE. Okay, the pressure for the PD and PE, we do the comparison. How? Which one is bigger? PE or PD? Okay, anybody can answer? PE or PD is bigger. Okay, we go to check. PE and also PD. Which one should be bigger? We do the comparison. Okay, the weight, the student to answer it. No pressure. That's uh, okay. Just now question. Okay, anybody can answer number five. Compare. Okay, Sharon say PE. PE is bigger. Then some more? Got others answer or not? Okay, anybody can answer? PE, PD is weaker. Sabrina said PD is weaker. Oh. So actually the answer, I told you one keyword. Same level, same pressure. So you see the PE and PD. Is this same level or not? Then both below also is a mercury, is it? So that means PE and PD actually, there's the same pressure. 
So we can conclude pressure at the PD, same as the pressure at the PE. So I also can say atmospheric pressure now, same as the mercury pressure at the PE and also PD. Agree, yeah? So if I say atmospheric pressure now is how many? 76, is it 76 cm? So understood, PE above the PE also is a 76 cm. Okay, because the height is the same one. So when the height is the same, that means same level, the pressure should be equal. Okay, so this one is what we can understand from the diagram. Okay, now we go through. Okay, again, the same thing. Uh, I write the conclusion. Okay, PA is a 0 cm mercury. Okay, so another one, PB. Okay, PB is here. So we just look above. Uh, don't go down uh, above. So this one should be 26 cm mercury. Okay, how about the E? PE means we look above also. 50 plus 26, 76 cm mercury. How about the PF? PF is at the bottom. So that means the 76, we need to add one more. 8 cm. Okay, so they become uh, 84 cm mercury. Okay, so this one is a conclusion how we go to measure the pressure. Okay, just see the height, the depth of the water. Okay, then we continue to this part. The formula P equal rho Hg, we're still using. Eh? Okay, it's used to obtain the value of the atmospheric pressure in Pascal. Okay, this one is a cm mercury. If you want to convert to Pascal, we need to using this formula again. So from here, atmospheric pressure is a... Uh, 760 millimeter mercury okay so means the h is a 760 mm so if you want to convert to meter you need to divide by thousand okay so it becomes 0 0.76 meter okay density depends the density is what density for the mercury there's a 1.36 times 10 power of 4 so this one question normally we provided we no need to memorize Okay, this one is the density for the mercury. Okay, so from here, atmospheric pressure equal H rho G. So H is how many? C, uh, 0 0.76. Then this one is the density for the mercury. Okay, G we still using 9.81. So finally, I get this one answer. Okay, uh, 100 101,396.16 Pascal. So if I get the round number, we ignore the decimal point. There's a 101396 Pascal. Okay, so this one is I convert atmospheric pressure, go to Pascal unit. So you need to convert by using H rho G. Okay, so the following the question, they will ask you to convert. Okay, we see the question. Okay, now we're going to see the height. Okay, the height will remain unchanged when? Okay, this one is the height, is it? Okay, now they ask, what situation the height will change? What situation the height is never changed? So from here, they say will remain unchanged. Never change one, huh? You see what situation? Okay, first one, the diameter. You see some got thin, some is lower, some is bigger. Okay, they say nothing happened. Okay, the diameter of the glass tube increasing also never changed. The level should be the same. Okay, number two, the glass tube is tilted. Tilted means sanget. You put sanget. We cannot count by sanget. We count by straight. So there's still 76 cm. Okay, no changes. Let me continue. The glass tube is lower further into the dish. Okay, you see this one, number three one. They go further. Okay, go further until bottom. The level still the same. Okay, they never change anything. Okay, after that, one more is the glass to the lift up. Lift up means like this. Lah. Never lift up until out. Lah. They're still in the mercury. Then lift up. So you find the length also is the same. Okay, the height of the H still 76. Okay, now the quantity of the mercury in the dish is increasing. I go to add the, uh, the mercury inside here. Okay, I add more mercury inside the dish. It's nothing. They're still the same. So this one is a, uh, how many? Five characteristics. I go to changes. That's uh, not related with the height. 
and the height maintain 76 cm mercury because that one is an atmospheric pressure okay now we're going to see what situation that we change okay so from here we're going to see the first one the height of the h that will decreases okay what situation they will decrease so you bring the whole uh, barometer you'll go to the high mountain okay when you go to the high mountain you can see the level increasing is it so you can see the atmospheric pressure so when starting atmospheric pressure at the sea level is high until you go to mountain high altitude uh, how altitude you find it the pressure become less so when the atmospheric pressure become less understood the height will be dropped okay because this one is depend for the atmospheric pressure when the atmospheric pressure drop automatic the h they will drop so another situation is the vacuum ah the vacuum you fill with the gas okay you feel the gas inside here they will press press the mercury drop okay so that one is a, another situation how to make the mercury height drop in the mercury barometer so this one is a two citation. Okay, number three citation is I want to make it increasing. How to make the H increasing? So you can see this one diagram. The barometer you slowly submerge in the water. Okay, you put in the water. Why put in the water the pressure increasing? Because you need to add one more water pressure. Okay, you want to add about the mercury pressure, is it? Another one, you need to add one more atmospheric pressure. And the last one is uh, uh, the water pressure. So finally, the H will be increasing. Okay, you got two pressure acting on the mercury. One is the atmospheric, number two is the water. So finally, the H will be increased. Okay, help me to remember how to increase, how to decrease. Okay, and also which one should be maintained. The H is totally never changed. Okay, now we're going to introduce the two of the um, apparatus they use to measure the atmospheric pressure. Okay, first one should be the 14 barometer. So this one is a 14 barometer. There is a mercury barometer that measures the atmospheric pressure to the high degree accuracy. So that means they want to measure the accuracy is very high one. Okay, number two is a 14 barometer has a, a height is almost one meter so that means almost long lah. okay bigger size this instrument usually to measure the atmospheric pressure at the meteorological center they want to measure the uh, the weather they're using the 14 barometer they want to measure the atmospheric pressure is how many and also the weather so they're using uh, the 14 barometer so normally using at the meteorological uh, center Okay, number two should be the aneroid barometer. So you see the size becomes smaller for the aneroid barometer. So the partially vacuum, this one is a vacuum part, uh, vacuum chamber. The metal box that will expand and also contract in the response to change in the atmospheric pressure. So atmospheric pressure changes, you can see the vacuum chamber that will compress and also con uh, expand. So after that, they will cause, force the pointer go to move. So when the atmospheric pressure decreases, so the box will be expand. Okay, will be expand, become bigger size. When the expand become bigger size, that means now the pointer will drop. Okay, drop until certain uh, readings. So when the atmospheric pressure increasing, so they go to compress. This one box will become bigger size because you go to compress already. When they just compress, that means they push. The, the spring will push the pointer, then the pointer will show the bigger reading. So they're using the vacuum chamber go and adjust the pointer to show what is the reading. So depends the situation, atmospheric pressure is high or low. Then they can expand, then they can compress. Okay, now we go to see the small change in the volume of the box is amplified by the mechanical system to move the pointer of the barometer. So although the chamber, you just a little bit changes, but they can make a bigger difference for the pointer. Okay, so aneroid barometer, they are more suitable to be used at the home, the ship and also aeroplane. 
to obtain the quick reading. That's so the reading is very fast. That means they no need to wait. So this one is a, a advantageous why we're using analog barometer compared to the 14 barometer. 14 barometer is a bigger size. Okay, not easy to bring here and bring there, but the analog is okay. Okay, if you say accuracy, which one is better? Sure, it's a 14 barometer. They can carry uh, the accurate sensitivity is higher. Okay, now we see the comparison. Uh. Okay, 14 barometer, the value of the atmospheric pressure is determined by changes the height of the mercury. But aneroid barometer, they want to depend on the uh, changes in the volume of the partial vacuum box. Okay, for the volume of the box, compress and also expand. But this one, they want to see the mercury. Okay, number two, the 14 barometer, there's a very large. Okay, the long almost is a one meter and also not portable. For the aneroid, there's a small size and also portable. You can bring here and also bring there. Okay, take a long time to give the reading of atmospheric pressure. Okay, but the aneroid, directly to show you what is the readings okay the last one should be the accuracy for the 14 barometer accuracy is higher until 0 0.1 mm mercury but the aneroid just only until 1 mm mercury so this one is a why and uh, the 14 barometer is a good accuracy they can read exactly the reading the decimal point until 1 Aneroid is no decimal point. Okay, but you say the size and also the uh, waiting the time to show what's the reading, uh, but aneroid is better compared to 14. Okay, so from here we finish for the concept and also apparatus. Okay, now we need to see about the unit. Lah. Unit for the pressure normally using Pascal, is it? However, a few other units of the pressure we still commonly to use. Example, we got mm mercury. So if the tube they're using the liquid is a mercury, so we need to use in this one uh, unit. Okay, if they're using a uh, water, so there's a m H2O. Okay, for the water, we calculate by m. Okay, if you calculate by m, m too small already. And the last one is a millibar. Okay, the unit for millibar is a m bar. Okay, now we continue to explain the unit, how to use. Okay, first one, normally using Pascal, is it? SI unit for a pressure, we're using Pascal. Okay, use this one, fill in of the size. Value of the pressure need to be converted to the unit Pascal before substitution of the physics formula. So you want to use it to the Pascal, you must change using H -O G. So example, atmospheric pressure at the peak of the Mount Kinabaru. That's a 60,000 Pascal. Okay, number two, we're using mm mercury. Okay, this one is a manometric unit of the uh, pressure. So they use in the field for the medicine. Okay, meteorology, aviation, and also the size, blood pressure. Okay, your blood pressure. This one is a standard. Is it 1, 2, o at the upper? Okay, systolic, hydraulic. So that means they find it's 120, then slash 80. So this one they're using mm mercury to calculate the pressure. Okay, next one sure is your MH2O. So this one is a metric unit they use to measure of the water. Okay, in the sea, water uh, reservoir and also the dam. Water pressure in the Bakun Dam, that's a 150 meter then uh, H2O. I mean they're using the water, uh, the level to calculate what is the pressure. And the last one is the millibar. Okay, a smaller metric unit they use in a few of the meteorology. Okay, equivalent to the unit hectopascal. Hecto means 100. Okay, the same like the 100 pascal. One millibar is a 100 pascal. So from here, atmospheric pressure is a 1013 millibar. Okay, you can go to divide. Lah. One millibar represent by one hectare. One hectare means 100. Okay, 100 pascal. So this one is a four unit normally we can use it for the uh, unit for the pressure. But from here, we're just using Pascal, uh, sometimes using millimeter mercury and also using meter for H2O. But millibar, we still never use it. 
Okay, so from here, the student, you listen so many already. So we start for calculation. So calculation, that means you need to prepare your calculator. Okay, we not left more time. Okay, so we just left uh, 15 minutes. So from here, you must fast to answer the question. Okay, first one, the blood pressure reading of the patient. 160 over 100. So what is the pressure for 160mm mercury in Pascal? So you help me to convert okay, Hg to Pa. So from here, we show the info first. So the info is a 100 mm, you convert to meter 0 0.16. Then the gram, I'm oh, sorry, the gravitational acceleration, there's a 9.81 from the question. Okay, density of the mercury, 1.36 times 10 power 4. Okay, now what they want, they want to convert to Pascal. If they convert to Pascal means we're using the, for, uh, the formula, P equal H rho G. Okay, the H, I told you already, you convert become meter. Okay, the rest you do calculation, then you show me what is your answer. Okay, so the student must fast to answer me. Eh? Okay, what's the answer for the pressure in Pascal unit? Okay, anybody? You just can type in wrong answer also can. Important must have the unit. Okay, we just wait the student. Anybody can answer. Okay, Sabrina, 21346.56. Okay, we're going to show is it correct or not. Okay, okay. I pin the answer from Sabrina first. Okay, the calculation like this. Okay, you can put in full also can. If you want to put in the full, you can put in the uh, SI unit, uh, the standard form. Okay, CT also correct. So you can put 2.13 times 10 power 4 also can. can. You can write in full also can. Okay, so this one I think no problem. You convert to Pascal only. Okay, then we go to question number 2. Okay, the maximum pressure that uh, a wall at the seaside can withstand is okay. They give you Pascal, they give you the maximum pressure that can withstand. Okay, what is this maximum pressure in meter uh, H2O? Okay, I want convert to H2O meter. So from here, you need to convert. Okay, first one the info they give you density, density of the water. Okay, after that, the gravitational. So that means you want to convert become H2O. You need to know for this one Pascal, this one maximum pressure, the height is how many if I using water. Okay, so I do know they're using what liquid. I just know the pressure maximum only this one, 3.6 times 10 power 5. Now I want to convert uh, using water, liquid. So from here, I need to know what is the height first. When I know the height, that means I can measure what is the Maximum pressure. So from here, I show the info. Maximum pressure, 3.6 times 10 power 5. Then the gravitational acceleration, 9.81. Then the density for the H2O, this one. Okay, now I need to find out what is the H. Okay, what is the H? So I need to show my calculation. P equal rho H. Okay, rho H, uh, the P we know already, 3.6 times 10 power 5. Power of 5, uh, this one is. Okay, H, we do know. We do know how many height. Okay, if I using the H2O, then I put the density for H2O, power of 3, then this one is 9.81. So I need to find what is the H. When I know what is the H, that means we understood. This one is how many meter H2O. Okay, suppose this one, they want you convert Pascal become H2O. Just now we do the calculation is H2O convert Pascal. Now it's the balik. So anybody can count for me what is the H. Okay, what is the H if I using uh, from Pascal convert to the meter H2O. Okay, you just help me to do the changes. Eh? This one is a... Uh, 10 power of 5. This one is 10 power of 3. Okay. Then find for me. Okay. Yiru, give me the answer 36.7.
Okay, we go to check. Okay, we do the calculation. Uh, Why 36.7? Okay, the others, you help me to check. Is it the answer correct or not? 36.7. The others? Ah, make sure the calculation is correct. Huh? I also don't know. Okay, maybe I put the wrong things. 3.6 times 10 power of 5. I need to divide by the 1000. Okay, I need to divide by the 9.81. Ah, so from here you see. After that, I need to divide by. Uh, I need to divide. Why do something wrong? Okay, 36.70. Oh, uh, everybody get it, huh? So I do some calculation wrong here. Okay, I do the changes. Okay, yeah, correct. Everybody answer is correct. This one is power of 5, huh? So maybe a straightforward using this one. This one is power of 5. Okay, this one is a 9.81. You see, I put 98.01. That's why I get the answer is wrong. Okay, 9.81. Okay, the answer is 36.7. Okay, so this one, 36.7. Okay, so we show back. Okay, so from here, this one power of 5, this one power of 3, 9.81. So we show the calculation again. 3.6 times 10 power of 5. Okay, over. Ah, this one got anything wrong? Okay, yeah, correct what? What happened? 36. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what happened already. I do something wrong. Okay, we're still using 9.80 lah. Is it? It's the same thing. I do the calculation wrong only. 3.6 times 10 power of 5 divided by 9810. Okay, yeah, correct. Okay, so sorry yeah, for calculation. So this one's still correct. Okay, so that means the answer is 36.7 meter, but this one not answer. This one not exactly answer. You need to answer this one. What is the maximum pressure in meter H2O? So you need to show uh, this one is the final answer. 36.7 meter. Then you put H2O. So this one baru is uh, exactly the answer. But you cannot straightforward to show this one answer. Because when you follow the calculation, you must you must show about the calculation the H is how many first. Then your last one, you go to convert 36.7 meter H2O. Okay? So everybody here correct? Huh? Sharon, Siti, and also Lim Zizuan, Sabrina also correct. Okay, then we go to the next part. Okay, the diagram that show about apparatus. Okay, set up used to the measure the atmospheric pressure. Calculate the pressure at the point Q. Okay, I want at the point Q. Uh, in cm mercury, mm mercury, and Pascal. Okay, let's see the info from the question. Okay, this one is the info. We get it from the question. The height at the point Q. Okay, you must refer up. Uh, what is the height at the point Q? Uh? So, the pressure acting at the point here only mercury. So, from here, we get it 15 cm and also 75 cm. The 10 cm, we just ignore because there's a vacuum. So, we just say height of the, at the point Q, there's a 75 plus 15, there's a 90 cm. Then, 90 cm, if you want to find in Pascal, so you need to convert 0 0.9. Okay, so from here, we find it. Uh, G is a 9.81. Uh, density of the liquid, this one is a mercury, 1.36 times 10 power 4. Okay, now you need to calculate what's the pressure at the Q in cm mercury. So if cm mercury, everybody know, is it? Okay, what's your answer for the first one? If I want to calculate the unit in cm mercury. Okay, so anybody can answer me? If in cm mercury, I think that's a simple only lah. So you just see the height only. Okay, so from here I just show the answer. Okay, first one is a 90 cm mercury. Okay, because we take cm. Uh, so there's a 90 cm mercury. Okay, another one they want mm. Mm mercury. So mm mercury understood lah. Mm mercury, we just take the ORI. Okay, this one is a 90 cm. You help me to convert to mm. 
So if convert to mm, you need to multiply with 10, is it? So from here, the answer is 900 mm mercury. Okay, last one. Convert to Pascal. Okay, convert to Pascal. I want your answer. Okay, give me your answer. Help me to convert. Uh, this one, 90 cm mercury. Convert to the Pascal. Okay, we just need the student help. To give me the answer in Pascal. Okay, anybody? Okay, anybody can give me the answer in Pascal? Okay, we check from the student. Okay, nobody answer. I want to convert to Pascal only. Just using the same formula, the row HG. You help me to convert this all thing in Pascal. Okay, we still got some of the question. Eh? Now already it's 2 o'clock. Okay, never mind. After 2 o'clock, there's no class, is it? So I just continue. Lah. Okay, anybody can... Okay, Sabrina, give me the 120,074.4 Pascal. Okay. So, only one. The others? Okay, we're going to show, uh, is it the answer is correct or not? Okay, yeah. Uh, why is some... Uh, yeah, correct. It's the same thing, huh? Okay, so I'm going to show my answer. Okay, this has a calculation, power of 4. So, the answer is a 1.20 times 10 power of 5. Okay, if you give me the full one, still okay. That's still correct. Okay. So, we continue to the next part. Okay, diagram to show the mercury barometer. Gas X. This one is a gas. Now, the situation, no more vacuum inside your gas. Huh? Gas X is trapped in the glass tube. If the vertical height of the mercury level is a 40 cm, this one is a 40 cm mercury, and the atmospheric pressure is a 75 cm mercury, calculate the pressure... Uh, exert by the gas X inside the tube. Okay, can you tell me gas X actually is how many pressure? Okay, the question is never provide any G gravity. They also and never provide the uh, density. So that means we only using Pascal. Lah. So your answer still in CM mercury. That's okay. Okay, so from here the student you need to show me the answer. Gas X. What is the pressure? So we just wait the student answer. Okay, X is how many? Okay, just using the same thing only. CM mercury. Okay, no need to convert Pascal. You just do calculation only. Minus. Okay, then you can know what is the pressure of the gas X. Okay, remember same level, same pressure. Okay, so here is the atmospheric, is it? Okay, actually here also is a, a same as the atmospheric, but this one is a gas X plus 40. Okay, I get the answer already, 35 cm mercury from Sabrina. Okay, how about the others? Okay, this one is an info. Okay, CT also give me that's a 35. Okay, now you check, eh? mercury level is a 40 cm mercury. Atmospheric is a 75. Then they ask you pressure of the gas X is how many? So just a simple, we do calculation only. Gas X equals 75 minus 40. So from here, the answer is, yeah, correct. That's a 35 cm mercury. Okay, we just do the minus only. Never do some any calculation. Unless the question they want to change Pascal, then you need to convert. Okay, example number four. Okay, what is the actual pressure at the depth 125 meter in the depth? State your answer in H2O, meter H2O and Pascal. So that means they want to answer. Okay, you find the answer, you help me to write the answer in meter H2O and also another one should be the Pascal. So the in four. 
Okay, the depth is 125. Okay, the gravitational, that's a 9.81. Okay, this is a density for water. 1 times 10 power of 3. Then they ask you, what is the pressure? Okay, the pressure I want in H2O and also in Pascal. So this one is an atmospheric pressure. That's a 10.3 meter H2O. Remember this whole situation. Okay, they want to find the pressure at the depth, bottom at the depth. Okay, so the pressure acting by the water is 1 to 125 um, meter. Don't forget, we still got one atmospheric pressure will act. It. So that means now this situation, we got how many pressure acting at the base? We got two. One is the atmospheric, another one is the water. So from here, they want to find what is the actual pressure at the depth. Okay, bottom of the depth. Okay, so from here, we can show first one. The pressure should be H rho G plus atmospheric. Okay. So from here, you need to find out what is the H rho G first. Okay. H rho G is using the H2O meter. So H2O meter, no need to do so many things. Lah. We just see the height only. Okay. So for the H2O meter, this is a 125 meter. Because this one is water. So we straightforward 125 meter H2O. Okay, another one, atmospheric is how many? Atmospheric is here. One, uh, 10 3 meter H2O. So we just plus together. So from here, we get the answer. 1, 2, 5 plus 10 3. So the answer is a 1, 3, 5 .3 meter H2O. So this one is a in unit meter H2O. Okay, now you find for me. I want in Pascal. Okay, I want the unit become Pascal. Okay, I do want H2O. You help me to convert. Okay, I want the answer now. Okay, hopefully the student you understand. Okay, just convert only. Convert the unit. Okay, I want to change become Pascal. So you need to use in the H rho G. Lah. The H already is provided. Rho, they must use in the density of the water. Then the G, that's a 9.81. So we can check the student and answer or not. Okay, we're going to wait. I see the student can type here or not. Show me what's the answer for the pressure. Okay, the student. Okay, take your calculator and do some calculation. Okay, so uh, Lim Zizuan give me the answer already. Uh, okay, it's too large already the number. If you, can, if you want to save the time, you can write in the uh, standard form. Okay, so from here we go to show. Okay, 135.3 multiply 1 times 10 power of 3. Then multiply 9.81. So the answer is, yeah, that's a 133 times 10 power of 6. Okay. The number is too long at the behind. Actually, you can short it. Become standard form. Then they're using two decimal point. Okay. Then that's okay. Okay. Then we continue. We still got not. Okay. So we finished already. Actually, we just got four example question. So today the task, what you need to do. Uh, you need to uh, do the formative 2.2, okay? Do inside your exercise book. Okay, one more thing is later after this one, after the lesson, I will go to your school. I will put back the box that day, okay? I will snap photo to show you. So you take back your file. Okay, for the student, you don't need to take the module. Please go and take your module. Okay, so from here, beside this one, uh, you need to do, okay, this one, the link. Okay, the link I already I also will be provided at the description at the YouTube there. Then you can click and get it, or you can scan the barcode. After that, you can download the exercise, or you can go to your Google form, uh, Google Classroom. Already is uploaded there. You can go there and take it. Okay, last today the code. Okay, you need to enter your Google Classroom. Take a Google form. Okay, the code for today is, okay, I need somebody to help me to type. Okay, Yuan Ru, I think you're very fast one, is it? You help me to type, uh, what is the code for today? You need to enter the 
attendance. Okay, the code is atmospheric, capital letter atmospheric. Okay, uh, atmospheric that underscore five s two. Okay, I also try to type. Okay, maybe you faster than me. Okay, atmospheric a t m o s p h e r i c underscore. Now there you put five s two s is capital letter and two. Okay, so this one should be the today lesson code. Okay, I pin there already. Atmospheric a t m o s p h e r i c underscore five s two. Okay, thank you, Siti. Okay. So from here, um, so our lesson just until here only. So in today you got two tasks, ah, uh, we need this one, ah, uh, the formative and also the exercise I upload already. Okay, so thank you for your all to watching the video clip live now. Okay, hopefully you understand. You not understand that means you can PM me to ask about the detail. Okay. So thank you, ah, uh. thank you the other student. Thank you the student to answer me the question. Okay, so from here only. Okay, Esther, bye. Linghan, thank you. Okay, bye for the others.